hello again. Um, I had a wonderful retreat, this craft retreat this last weekend um, with a company called Indigo Blue. Um, you've probably seen me use their products before. They make the most fabulous, luscious pigment powders, some really innovative rubber stamps. Um, and I had a, re a really good time in the world of mixed media, which is not really me, but my goodness, it was fun. And uh, a lot of really, really lovely crafters. So I had a really good time. Um, you can have a look and see, see what I made on my Facebook page, which is uh, CAS with friends. So anyway, today I want to use this larger of the two B stamps from Gummia Pan. And I've looked at him several times and thought to myself, do you know, he's so big, I don't know how I'm going to use him. But today, as my grandma used to say, I've had a brainwave. I thought I would just use part of him, put him in a frame, and that's so I would see him kind of like that, which I thought looked kind of cool, really. So to make my frame, I taped two squares together and I cut out three squares from black card and stuck them together. Now this is one of the middles from one of those layers. And of course it's not big enough, but it's not big enough to die cut a B from, but the amount of B I want to put in there, it is big enough for. So I'm going to cut a B from my wastage here. So let's have a look at this. This is quite thick card, actually. I don't know what the, the weight of it is, but it's, I've got a couple of weights. One is quite thin and this one is, is really quite robust. And you can almost see that from the way that it is, has die cut. It's really impressed deeply into it. So let's take our B out of the rest of the die cut. Just have to be careful about the very delicate bits. Let's push that out there. And what am I doing here? Let me see. Oh, that's the bit. I'm, that's a leg. That's a bit in between, and that's his wing. Okay. <laughs> it's a bit disorienting when you haven't got the whole bit. But there's there's plenty of him there, you see, to fit into the frame as I had envisaged. Okay, um, I'm going to do something to the B presently, but first of all, I'm going to do the background. And I've got a piece of, of good quality paper here. It's not card, it's just got a quality paper. And I'm going to do my background for him on here. The first thing I want to do, I think, is to use, this is gummy a pan chicken wire, um, it, it's a stencil that I made, or should I say, it might even be can be called a mask, from this gummy pan die. I've got it still here on my magnet. Mm. This one. So I'm going to. I have sprayed it with a little bit of stick and spray. So I'm going to pop it onto my piece of paper, and hopefully that will kind of hold it down. And the colour I've um, chosen to do for the background today is Scattered Straw Distress Oxide. For the frame, I'm going to be using some indigo blue paints, one of them being a gold. So I thought this, this particular shade would look quite nice with that particular bit of, piece of um, painting. So I'm just going to add a bit of colour to my background gently with a brush. Someone said to me about holding the brush, I don't know, around it at the end, but because this bit is so flexible, I like the fact that you can get a light touch holding further away from the actual bristle. So that's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Right, here we go. I've been a few days without making a video and it seems 
bit strange to come back to it. I think that might be enough. I don't necessarily want it right to the S. See where we where we go with that. That might be quite nice with a little bit of white at the edge. And let's leave it at that. Okay. The next thing I want to do is just to, to add a bit of, whoops, <laughs> it's got legs, texture to it, not texture, interest. And I've got another stamp here. This is, this is another indigo blue. And it's just, it's called The Matrix. And it's just a bunch of numbers sort of over, over, over each other. Um, I put an arrow on so I know which is the top. And I think I'm just going to kind of stamp it in the middle. So I've, I need a nice juicy stamp. Uh, I'm not quite sure how much juice there is in this one. We'll just see. Let's hope it's enough. Let's just hope. It was funny, over the weekend, um, I was staying in a hotel in... Um, Retford, the, the venue was in Retford, in Nottinghamshire, and um, a few of the people, the crafters from this this retreat that I was on, were staying in the same hotel. So, sitting at breakfast the following morning, a lady came down and sat opposite me, and we were just chatting and chatting, and um, we hadn't actually introduced ourselves, and so she suddenly said to me, "What's your name?" I said, Chris. She said, Christine. I said, yes. She said, I know your voice. And she, she'd she um, heard some of my video, watched some of my videos. So it's quite interesting, really. Right. There. They're all, the numbers are all kind of overlapped. I think that should look quite nice. Right, next thing I want to do, I'm going to try, I don't know what it's going to turn out like, but I want to use little bits of, of colour on the bee. And what I've got here is some pigment powder that's called Gold Cast. Now, if you put this onto white, there's a very, 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 well, let me just show you. I'll put it on the side of this where it doesn't show much. Let me just show you. I uh, need a bit of a drop of water. Put it on my mat. If I put it onto white, you can, you can see it's gold there, can't you? If I put it onto white, I'll put it this end, which is going to be further away. It's a very pale, very pale colour. Can you see? Very pale. If you put it onto black, well, we'll see on here, won't we? I'm going to put some onto him. I think I'll do his two eyes. It's really bright gold. Put a bit onto his body. Bit onto this bit. You can see the difference between the, the dark cardstock and the light. I'll put a bit onto the wing as well, I think. Put a bit onto this bit here too. Now that bit's probably going to fall out because it's a, it's a, it's cut right through. Anyway, let's just put the back, the top back on the luscious pad. Luscious powder you can use in so many different ways. It's amazing. Right. Now the next thing I want to have a go at is the frame and for the frame I want to sort of decorate the frame a little bit and I've decided to try these two metallic acrylic paints this one's called Merlin and this one's called Goldfinger and I'm going to apply them onto my frame with little sponges I've got I didn't have bits of sponge I've ordered some washing up sponges that I can chop up and use as applicators but I'm just going to use these sponge sponge daubers for the minute okay 
I'm just going to use the paint out of the lid. So dab it in. Just put some on. See how that looks like. Now we're going to try the Merlin. It's this is such fun. Some of the things, the techniques that I kind of learned over the weekend there was nothing to do with clean and simple card making but then um, you know you can adapt you can use these things i think that's going to be enough can you see just a nice mix of metallics at the weekend um when we were using metallic paints um we were putting it on to mdf which was treated beforehand with black gesso but I just thought I'd try it on black card and see what happened and it seems to be okay I'll try some later using gesso because I think gesso will be act like a, a primer but we'll see let's see how we go right the next thing I'm going to do I just want to dry this completely so I'm going to put my heat tool onto this just to dry off the paint I think that's okay. Now, the next thing I want to do with it, I want to stamp a design over the top of that. And for that, I'm going to use this um, background stamp, which is called William Morris Willow. That's the, that's the stamp. It's lovely, lovely thing. So I'm going to keep it on the, the, the desk and then I'm going to press that onto it and then just um, kind of press off. I'm, I may well use a piece of um, paper just to protect my fingers. You do get kind of messy with uh, mixed media, at least I do, because I'm not, a, I'm, not an, well, I'm not an expert at all. So, right, is that covered pretty much? Isn't that pretty though? What a lovely, lovely stamp. And Indigo Blue will give you 20% discount from the, of their products from their site if you quote Chris YouTube, which I think is very generous of them. Right, I'm going to put this down. I'm just going to press. Look. Isn't that pretty? Just look at that. Gorgeous. That's what I learned this weekend. I thought that was such a terrific idea. So I thought I would adapt that for my for my card. Right, let's just wipe off our willow. William Morris Willow. I'll see what that um, background looks like behind it. If I'm not happy, I might change it. Looking at it now, um, I'm not sure if I like the colour. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, it does go quite nicely, doesn't it, with the gold? And this... Whoops. In there, like that. I think that'll be okay. I'm just wondering if I want a bit of shimmery stuff. Do you know, have I got that upside down? That's that's the way up, isn't it? Yeah, that's the way up. I stamped it the right way up and then messed about with my piece of paper, didn't I? Yeah. 
Yeah, I like that. Okay, let me stick the bee down. I think we'll stick the bee down next. Uh, let's get some glue. Actually, just cutting out off the square, which is from the middle of the frame, means that it's nice and straight and it's going to fit inside there rather well, says she, hopefully. Right. The lady who was brilliantly looking after us for our refreshments and things at the weekend, she's also seen me on or watched my youtube videos and she was just lovely so helpful so thank you Anne. let's just see there we go i don't often stick things down flat but uh well this time they're straight yes i think so okay now i'm going to stick this down i think i'll use some slightly stronger glue this time i'm going to use this is nouveau clear drying craft glue there we go so it was it was a lovely weekend i have to say i was quite nervous because mixed media is not my forte and um I thought I, it would be very good for me to have a go. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous, that frame? Whoa. Right, let's stick this down. There we go. Am I level? Yeah, I think so. Now I'm just going to trim. Trim this. Oh, the radiator's making a funny noise. There we go. Whoa, look at that. I think that's quite nice. Now, where's my card base? Here it is. And I'm just wondering whether to give that an embossing round the edge or just leave it like that because this is paper and not card if I want to raise it up onto foam tape I'm going to have to cut another square on the back to give it a bit more strength but I think that's what I'm going to do so if I take my the larger of my two the larger of my two dies, take that middle one off, cut myself another piece of card, pop it on, and then put it onto, onto foam tape so that it's just raised for a little bit of relief. So you could give a, um, a sentiment, put on a sentiment if you wanted to, or just leave it as is. So there, the first video since my craft retreat. I hope you have some fun with this one too. I'll try and put a, a link, well, the link, but details of the products I've used below the video so that you, if you do fancy having a go, you'll know exactly what I used. So as ever, thanks so much for watching.